What's going on? Shooters, camera nerds, and camera dweebs. It's your favorite Keep It 100 film. Make a big cook coming back at y'all with another video. And today I'm giving y'all a little BTS of my new video that I'm dropping called Be Yourself, which is a video to give y'all understanding of who I am. And if you've already checked out my YouTube page, you kind of get an understanding of what I mean by being myself. And I just wrapped up this first scene in here, which was, well, actually it's the second scene in the video, but it was the first scene that I shot which is actually, you know, me coming out here writing up a treatment for a video, basically. And I got my light right there, you know, C-stand for some overhead shots. You're not a real filmmaker until you get a C-stand. Not as bull jiving. You know what it is. You're a real filmmaker as long as you're shooting. But the camera that I'm using to film is this Bohemoth Beast right here, which is the Loomis S5 Mark I. With the Black Magic video, since we filming in B Raw 12 to 1 with the Lumix 24 to 70 f2.8. This is my baby right here, big. Oh, you turning your head on me, baby? Damn, that's my baby, big jungle. Right here, old dog. Got to had it for like going on 13 years now, but she's still kicking, doing her thing. That's my baby. She pissed. I got to go to the store and get her some more snacks. You want some snacks, baby? I know, old mama. That's my baby. So now let's go in here to the next scene and get this BTS. And this is the great thing about this, uh, let me see what's newer. I think it's called a newer. Yeah, a newer, the newer MS60C light. You can uh, match source it, because at first I was just trying to get it, but I forgot that you can match source the light. Oh shit. Let me get you right on 180. Damn. Okay, damn. Yeah, we docked. But yeah, that's the thing about the newer MS60C light. You can match sources. So instead of me, uh, well, I'm dog. Hold on. Well, let me get some cinematic light on me. Well, I'm dog. <laughs> that's the good thing about the, uh, well, yeah, I had to get some light on me. That's the good thing about the MSC60, MS60 uh, newer light. You can match source it, and that's what I did. Instead of just trying to get it, you know, right, I was able to point it at the original light source to give me that yellow, the yellowish tungsten color light. And yeah, so now we got the lighting set up. I just got to dial in the intensity of it, and then we're going to go to the next thing. What's going on, gang? I know that you're feeling the content, but what I need y'all to do right now is go hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and get initiated. Hit that like button and rep the set and comment below to let me know that y'all gang. Back to the video. And that's the next thing, getting some atmosphere in here, man. And if you're looking for a great haze machine at a low cost, get this Rock Haze 700 V2. I paid like 150 bucks for it, and it's a great haze machine. And you see how much haze I got in here? It's not going to trip off the uh, smoke alarm like this smoke machine that I had did. Uh, you know, the haze gives off a great effect to give depth to your shot so i'm trying to test that out trying to you know add some new stuff to my repertoire so i got the haze going on 
And yeah, if you want to use stuff indoors and not really have to worry about smoke too much, I don't know if I put more in here, will it trip it off? But like this amount of haze, it won't trip off the smoke uh, alone right there because the haze is water based and it's not chemically like this uh, smoke machine is. So yeah, get your haze machine, baby. Side of lights are still blooming. See the bloom, and if I open this up, well, it's not sunny outside, so it's not really going to, but you see, you see how it's blooming? Yeah, get you a haze machine to add dip to your shots. So, yeah, time to get started. We are filming in Black Magic Raw 6K at the moment. I'm already rolling, so let's get this thing started. Uh, let me tilt this. And on this shot, I'm just looking at YouTube videos, doing like a lot of us do. Waste time looking at YouTube videos and stuff, so. Uh, yeah, that's where we at on this shot. Get these lights in. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go yellow on these lights. While rocking the blue on those lights. Two, one, action. That's long enough for that shot. Let's uh move this tripod. Yeah. Get this side shot. Dang, look. Uh-oh, yeah, we gotta get a better tripod. This motherfucker right here is slipping. You see, we're gonna bump this down about F4.5, but we gotta put that ISO up. Whoa. Gotta like pump that ISO up. This other monster out here. Ooh. Like that. This is the electronic stabilization. This camera is in body stabilization. Stabilization. This camera is in body stabilization is absolutely phenomenal. The e stabilization adds to that, but not with its drawbacks. Because when you use it, you get this weird one off audio output to monitor. Okay, got that. All right, so now we got the three basic shots. Uh, I might need to rehaze because I see the haze dissipating a little bit. I might need to rehaze real quick. And I got to get one more shot. And this tripod, man. I thought it was a sturdy tripod. It said it was good, man. This this uh Coleman tripod, man. It feels heavy duty, but I don't know. It's not holding up the legs and stuff like it's supposed to. But it is what it is. We can't stop. We can't stop them and it got started now. And I'm in and I'm in mode. And if I give y'all a quick tidbit, I promise, man, that's my word. Like when it comes to filming content, this is what I'm learning. The hardest part is getting started, man. I got down procrastinate some shit for days in the weeks, but once I get started, I start to feel good about it, man. Then it gets kind of addictive for that moment. So, man, what what I would say is just get started. Just get started, all right? And let me show some love to the dude who video I'm doing. This is Shinzu's production video. My thoughts on the uh S5, this is what video I'm doing. Uh, it was just a video that I had to, happened to be looking at last night when I was uh, practicing this recording. So, yeah, that's a video that I'm going to be doing. So let me go ahead and hit a quick reburst of this haze real quick. And the reason why it's dissipating so much is because I got the uh, ceiling fan on, but I kind of wanted the ceiling fan to be able to stir it and 
you know, spread it around evenly and get an even spread on it. I'm learning cinematographers. I'm trying to come fuck with y'all in the future, baby. Let's go. And see, it don't take that much for this small room. It don't take that much. Just a quick little burst. And that's it. You can go off. Let the silly fan stir it up. Like, I, I don't want it to be too thick. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to be too thick, but, you know, I want it to look good. And I see, like, in this thing right here, yeah, it's that tungsten. It look good. It's that tungsten light, so we're going to make it look good. So, all right, let me uh get my next scene. Let's see what I'm going to do first. Okay, I'll go ahead and knock this off first, man. This part, this shot. And this is like a POV shot. Let's see if I can do it <laughs> with the uh with the drone on. But man, like this stuff is fun, man. And I think this is what we need to get more into, like just the having fun portion of it. And just learning how to have how to have a really good time. Let me see, let me get this in order. Shinzu, but please don't copyright me for using your stuff, man. You know I respect you. like a ton of latency. I remember when I first started using my monitor, I it was almost unusable because there would be like maybe a fourth of a second of lag where I would turn the camera and then the and then the monitor would read it. Monitor? And you can make adjustments that. Whew. Hey. Boy, that shot. Hey, that shot right there was a whole lot of beast, but <laughs> cuz that's when I got the whole thing sitting on my chest. So I don't want to breathe so, so it'll be moving around my breath. So I'm trying to hold my breath on this shot. And that thing just weighing down on my chest. I'm like, shit, what about to pass out? <laughs> but when it comes to this shoot stuff, man, anything for the shot. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. Okay, we got that shot out the way. Uh, what else we need? We need this one more shot too, this high shot. So what I'm going to do is get this back on my tripod. And right now we're shooting at F4, man. Like, that's one thing I'm learning about this stuff, too. Every shot don't got to be at the lowest depth of field, man. So let me tighten up this tripod. Then we're going to send this thing all the way up to get, like, a high shot. I should use my, uh, what you call it, my C-stand. But, uh, I don't got no weights. I don't got no weights on forge yet. And I can't, I can use it with my lighter lenses. But I can't do it with my, uh... 24 to 70 S Pro and that's too heavy, man. And it'll it'll flip the joint over, so we can't do that. So gotta use this up at a high angle. Okay, there we go. Then we can uh oh damn she's still recording. Turn it on. Okay. Now let's get that angle. Ooh, I look good. Y'all see me in bro? Ooh. Jeremiah Cook, <laughs> Jeremiah Cook in raw, getting it in, but that raw look good, I'm telling y'all. Oh my God, I ain't know she looked that good. But see that raw, man, when y'all see this footage right here, how, how my skin, like it's, it's cool, but how I look on this, and then how I look up there on this, you know, damn, bro. in the shot. Let me get myself in the shot. Am I good? Should I come down some more? Okay, now nah, we can get two of them. We can get two of them. Wait. Or you're going to see it on your HDMI monitor and your touch screen is basically useless unless you're using touch autofocus. Other than that, you can, you know, you can go through the menus and then the menu will work on there. But the moment you go back to the screen where you can but I'm still so grateful for their autofocus. It is fantastic. Okay, got that shot. So now, after that, it's time to get these B-roll shots. And man, what I'm talking about, man, I don't like how this thing look. <laughs> how this thing looking on the, what you call it, on the, on the uh, S5 Mark II. 
10 bit, man. But on this black magic consist, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about, man. When I say this junk look good on this black magic, it looks good because it's not hitting the light like this one is. The light looks a lot different on this one than it does on this one. You know, some people say that raw doesn't make a difference. You can't tell the difference, but if you knew about raw and about what it does, well, it's not really the raw, the uh 12 bit. If you knew about like what the 12 bit does, if you knew about like what 12 bit does versus 10 bit, 8 bit and all that, then you will be like, okay, I understand now, you know, but it's just like 12 bit give you a lot more color information than 10 bit just like 10 bit give you a lot more color information than 8 bit and people might not understand but like when it come to this like even like this going from this bright side of my face to this side 12 bit will make it more smoother because it's more colors to get from this light part to the dark part it's more colors of that brown more colors of the shades up to the black more colors of the lighter shade it just give you smooth smoother highlight roll off because it's more colors to go from this to this so now i'm about to uh get some b-roll scenes hold on let me move this out the way uh and yeah like this is just the first the first behind the scenes like this video is going to take eight days to do, cause but I'm not trying to overwhelm myself and shoot everything all at one time. That was my problem, too. I would uh try to shoot everything all at one day, all in one time, rushing it and effectively turning it to a videographer just pulling up and just trying to get some shots just to get something and not taking my time because I got so much to do. So I'm just doing one part every day so that that'll give me more time. So instead of having an hour to try to get everything done, I just got an hour or whatever to get one thing done so I'll be able to get more. You get what I'm saying? And another thing I'm learning too is you don't always have to have a bunch of motion in your shots. You know what I'm saying? Just get a couple of static shots for a little bit. Hold them, you know couple of static shots and then like on this shot right here let me uh show y'all what i'm getting on this shot from my uh shoe boxes to my lamp i might just do something you know what i'm saying like just a little something like uh let me see rack focus on that thing just just to give it something without having to move it too much you know what i'm saying just like a little quick Focus rack, hold it on the shoes, rack it back to the mount, hold it. But yeah, so even like with that, man, I ain't gonna lie, like I'm having fun, man. So now I'm just gonna get a couple of more shots around here, take care of that, and we'll be done for the day. Trying to hold these shots for like, you know, maybe 20 seconds. Oh, and I forgot, see, it's, it's that quick, but I forgot one more shot. Let me get that together. Oh, man. Man, shoot. That video was all right, but I can't keep watching videos. I gotta go shoot my own shit. And that is a wrap for day one of the video shoot. I might just make little mini BTSs for y'all for each day, man. Because I don't even I don't feel like having all this shit on my computer for this whole week and saving that shit. Even though I got a lot of stuff left on the card, but that was day one of my next video shooting for my next video. Be yourself, all right. So till next time, remember. Keep learning, keep shooting, and above all, keep having fun with this camera ish. It's your brother, Big Cook, Loomis Gang, D Log or No Log.
I don't care what they bang, I'm ripping Loomis gang. I don't care what they bang, I'm ripping Loomis gang. I don't care what they bang, I'm ripping Loomis gang. I rip a micro for a thirst and full frame. Big cook coming through, S5 Mark II.